Hello, friends of the Woodman. My name is Mike, and today we're going to talk about Mrs. Annie Woodman and the founding of the Woodman Museum. In order to understand who Annie was and what her intentions were when creating the Woodman through her will in 1915, we're going to hear from Colonel Daniel Hall, who was the first head trustee of the Woodman, as well as a former aide to President Lincoln. On July 26, 1916, there was a dedication ceremony at the Hale House here at the Woodman. One of the speakers, of course, was Colonel Hall, and he had many kind words to say about Annie. Mr. Woodman died in 1885 at the age of 63 years, leaving his wife, who had been Miss Annie Elizabeth Allen and was born in Dover in 1838. Mrs. Woodman continued to reside during her life in this house where she had lived since her marriage and survived Mr. Woodman about 30 years. She was a woman of cultivation and refinement and scrupulously honest in all of her dealings. She had been influenced by the character of her husband and other surroundings and had excellent financial judgment and a more than common capacity in business investments. This enabled her, with the means inherited from her husband, to acquire a respectable property. Having no children and but few family connections, she early recognized the duty of providing carefully for the disposition of her estate. And when it came to that, she manifested a disposition to make charitable bequests that should make her estate serviceable to the community. Uh, later in the speech, Colonel Hall remarked about Annie's will. What are the details of her will? This provision is only concerned with this question, and how does it read? Having provided that this provision shall take effect in case the city has not realized the contemplated gift of Mr. Wentworth for a hospital, it says practically, I give and bequeath to Daniel Hall, Elisha Brown, and Robert Pike, in trust the sum of $100,000 for the establishment of an institution in Dover for the promotion of education in science and art and the increase and dissemination of general and especially historical knowledge. I recommend especially the study of early history of Dover and of New Hampshire as a fitting object to be promoted by the operation of the Institute. And I direct that its ministrations shall be made to conduce to the education, enlightenment and entertainment of as many of the people as possible. Originally, Annie intended for a new building to be constructed in Dover for her institute. Colonel Hall, however, felt this was a financial hurdle. Next time, we'll hear about what he had to say concerning this situation. Thanks for watching. To support the Woodman Museum, please consider making a tax deductible donation. You can mail checks to P.O. Box 1916, Dover, New Hampshire, 03821, or visit our website, woodmanmuseum.org.